we live in this uh instant gratification world right now where we need to actually be like falling in love with delayed gratification yeah, too you got to have a non-negotiable with yourself that within your business no matter what you are going to keep on striving to I'm... be successful or try to go for success if that makes sense okay doesn't matter how about how you feel doesn't matter about if it's raining or it's like snowing or whatever you know what i'm saying like that does not matter because bills gotta get paid you know what I'm saying? The journey always has to be continued. And if you have a legacy, if you have a family, you know, like those type of people, those people are 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 really, really depending on you. Right. So, like, who gives a damn about how you feel? It's about what needs to be required. Right. Let's say I make $10,000 a day, right? If I make three, maybe two, maybe five, yeah, it's a definitely, it's a plummeted difference. It's a big, big difference. Right. But guess what? There's people out there, they ain't making it all year. When I fall off it be a while I'll put you down When I fall off it be a while I'll put you down Put you down Put you down Put you down well, okay, We're gonna start the interview you know what I'm saying That's a, Whatever whatever it is man Drop the gym on you know what I'm saying Put you down <laughs> oh, look, He ain't even got the music on now We supposed to have the music on but um Yeah You said who? Start the show out with the music, you know what I'm saying? This is our music. This is my, my co host. Oh, shit, okay. Boss done. Yes, sir. Only one goat. One just lady. Yes, I also got music other than the podcast. So. Take a shot for my nigga. Let it ride for a little moment, you know what I'm saying? Bring it in. Check the vibe. How you feeling today, man? Good, man. Great. Good? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Just. Excited for this, man. You know what I mean? You here for both days? Yeah, I, I'll be here tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got training from like 12 to 2, 12 to 2, 12 to 2 30, but I, I'll be here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on down this, man? This one just leaving. Reporting live from the podcast summit. We're here with Mr. Marvel Bishop. Mr. Marvel Bishop. Okay, okay. How you come by that name? How you, how that name come about? Well, uh, so my mother's maiden name is Bishop. Okay. And then my father, who I actually met uh 2015, he is his name is Marvel, so I'm a junior. Okay. Yeah. All right, that, that was so that was so how did you um what are you here for? What what brought you to the podcast summit? Well, I, I do have a podcast, um, but I would say that my first my initial uh trade of business, I would say I'm a luxury concierge host here in Miami. Okay. So what we do is we basically Provide VIP experiences for the one one percent. Right. Uh, when it comes to cars, yachts, mansions, clubs, private security, the uh, logistics, VIP hosting, just curating that experience, you know, for our clients. Okay. Yeah. So, and then I also have a podcast as well too, where mm-hmm. I interview people in nightlife, hospitality, entertainment, uh, artists, models, uh, business owners of lounges, you know, clubs, restaurants, hotels, all that. So just trying to, you know. Highlight them as well too And actually you know Try to build a community So Okay you sound like You the man to talk to When you come <laughs> in the city man Hey uh, yeah, Listen man I'm I'm not the worst person To know in Miami Let's put it that way Okay okay yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you get started Doing that So I used to work For David Grutman So David Grutman owns uh, Well used to be Story But Story shut down uh, Live The Komodos uh, Gecko He owns uh, Groot Hospitality So okay. it's a uh Restaurant, food and beverage, and uh, club nightlife uh, company. Okay. So, um, used to work for him at Story, Open Story in 2012. Was there for about five years. And then after that, I wanted to actually, you know, start my own thing. You know, I gathered a bunch of clients that I actually wanted to start my own network and start my own business. So, I then I started out doing private security. Okay. So, um, I was doing private security uh, after that. I was doing security in Story for uh, his clients. And after that, I was just doing private security before the concierge. Okay. So okay. yeah, so then you know, just just got that going, and then after that, you know, like when you when you start something and you try to like you know build, sometimes you want more. You know right. what I'm saying? You want to be able to like, you know, I call myself the ace of all trades. Okay. Yeah. So the ace of all trades is the person you know that can. Uh, He's well knowledgeable and well versatile in multiple things. So me being doing security, I was just um, security at that point, but I will also like fall into different spots as well too. Like right. I know how to talk. I know how to, how to you know articulate myself. I know how to carry myself as well. So one of my clients I was actually taking care of at a dinner party. I was doing security for him. You know, I tell this story a lot of times. He told me, he's like, yo, bro, like, you know, I know you do security for me. 
You did great. 6'11". At that time, I was like 380. So, you know, so I was kind of, a, <laughs> kind of bigger now. I'm 344, you know what I'm saying, right now. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely losing weight. <laughs> and uh, pardon me. And he was like, yo, bro, like, you should definitely own a concierge company. You know, you should definitely be a host because right. you do things for me outside the security realm. So why don't you step into that? So I look into that to see what it entailed. And honestly, the rest was history. You know, um, I had the clientele as well, too. So I just transitioned myself as far as calling myself an executive protector into an executive host, if, okay. that, if that makes sense. So, yeah, bro. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, ask you to answer my next question. Mm-hmm. I was just going to ask you, was there like a personal experience that made you get into that field? Yeah, so um, I would say overall, I mean, I played sports, uh, I played basketball, played football as well too, played semi-pro basketball, um, had a chance to go overseas, but didn't really get a chance, didn't really do that, um, wasn't good enough for the NBA as well too, um, but more so, man, I I was just really, I'm just really like a, a, a personable person, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just a person that loves to... Uh, to greet people, to meet people, to, you know, build with people as well too. And, um, I'm very hospitable. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I I can, I'm a person that I always think about other people versus me first. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, that kind of goes into the whole hospitality space because you're always taking care of other people. Right. Like you always make sure that they're good before you're good. Cause that's a service. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So yeah. So that's, that's, that I, I've been like that. For my whole entire life, not only just being a protector and also a nurturer as well, too, but then also being a person who um, caters to people's needs and their desires. Okay. So with that being all said, what are some failures that got you to this point? Like, what did you have to go through to oh get you to boy. the point where you're at now? Man, uh, I've always said that you always need to go through so many no's to get that first yes. Right. You know? Like... And you just like as cliche as it sounds, like you 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 gotta especially what I do too. You know what I'm saying? I don't like I don't have a job. Like I just this is all I do. I have other I have other companies as well too, but I eat what I kill. Right. You know. Um, the and honestly, this is kind of the shirt that I have too. You got to have a non negotiable with yourself that within your business, no matter what, you are going to keep on striving to. I'm- be successful or try to go for success if that makes sense. Okay. Doesn't matter how about how you feel. Doesn't matter about if it's raining or it's like snowing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like that does not matter because the bills gotta get paid. You know what I'm saying? The journey always has to be continued. And if you have a legacy, if you have a family, you know, like those type of people, those people are 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 really, really depending on you. Right. So like who gives a damn about how you feel? It's about what needs to be required. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't, I don't worry about. Uh, I don't worry about what's. I always worry about what's. Uh, no, it's all good. It's, I'm always worried about what's. Uh, what's what, what needs to be done and what needs to be required. I okay. never necessarily only worry about what I need to do, like to do my best. Right. I do. I do what's required. Okay, and and <clears throat> you dropped two jewels that I like. Two <laughs> little lingo, two jewels. You said the first one. You said I'm an ace of all trades mm-hmm. instead of a jack. Ace is higher than the jack. I liked it at so. Oh, you know. Got to put the foes down on that. And the second Thank one you. is you said you had to go through a lot of no's. Mm-hmm. A lot of no's. And I heard this on another podcast, or I heard it somewhere, where someone was like, no means another opportunity. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So don't stop. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Just you get a no right here. Is open the doors up for that, another opportunity. That door, that door that closes when you say when you hear that no, right? It, that door does not represent your whole entire life. Right. It just represents the opportunity right then and there that is not there for you just yet. But then you can also move to the side to be able to hopefully open up another door. Okay. You know? But okay, but okay. to be able to be able to but to be able to put yourself in a position to open up another door potentially, you gotta have that mindset. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like and when it comes to you know, I'm big in mental health. I'm big in like, you know, taking care of your mental and your psyche and all that. Like entrepreneurship is a dangerous game on the on the mind, bro. Like if you are not strong, not for the week. You can't be weak in this shit, bro. I don't know if week. I can curse. My bad. I'm sorry. No, you got <laughs> we got the yeah. two minutes. You all right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, yeah, bro. Like you 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 have to have like unformidable like mindset and like fervor. Okay. You know what I mean? To like just, like for me, man, I have like 
blind, like a blind foresight, bro. Okay. Like if I have to go, like for instance, I'll tell you this. I really feel like entrepreneurship is kind of like, it's in a space right now. We got four gentlemen right here, right? In the building, including me, which is five, right? I got to get to that door. Let's stay right. And all y'all are trying to stop me from getting that door. Right. I'm going through that door no matter kill what. Kill to be killed. It's going to happen. It got to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm either going to be without a leg, maybe a broken leg, maybe a broken arm, whatever, maybe a broken nose. I made it to that door. But I will get to that door no matter what. It's a non-negotiable. Y'all hear that, man. Yeah. Y'all hear that. Make it to the door no mm-hmm. matter what. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. So we ain't going to take up too much more of your time. Nah, this is the last I, I one, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead. This, we got a segment on our show called Put Up or Put Down. Okay. So if you put up with it, that means you like it. You go okay. for it. Okay. Putting down means you okay. don't like it. Okay. But when you put down, you got to tell us why you don't like it or why you ain't going for okay, it. Okay, okay. Okay, so where you were from originally? Uh, New York. New York, okay. Yeah. And I heard you say you went overseas. Yeah, well, I had a potential to go overseas, but I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. Okay, well, big city. Mm-hmm. You live down here in Miami now. Mm-hmm. Which one? Put up or put down? New York? Oh my! Oh Lord, have mercy! Don't do this to me. I got to do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Big Apple oh. or Sky Amy? What you gonna do? <sighs> my New York people gonna hate me for this show. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put up with Miami, man. I'm <laughs> oh, you know. I'm done. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love New York. New York is home. New York is. You know what I mean? But. I'm, I've been here. For, let's just say this: I've been here for 15 years for a reason. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Any last gems you want to drop for the for people? Um. Within your process and within your journey, just have the mindset of one over zero. So my mindset of one over zero is that no matter what I'm going through, it doesn't necessarily about if if it's just one task that I necessarily completed. We we live in this uh. Instant gratification world right now Where we need to actually be like Falling in love with delayed gratification Right So Let's just say this Normally Hypothetically whatever Just like I don't want to talk about exactly How much money I make whatever But like let's say I make $10,000 a day right If I make three Maybe two Maybe five Yeah it's a definitely It's a plummeted difference It's a big big difference Right But guess what There's people out there They ain't made shit all year There's people that did not make a dollar at all. Okay. I'm still up. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's all about that gradual domino effect, if that makes sense. Okay. You know what I mean? Like if you have a hundred dominoes right here and they all fall down, how did they fall down? By that one, one. domino first. So that's all I got to say about one over that. Zero. Okay, yes, sir, okay. One over zero, man. That's Give it. Give everybody your handles. Yeah, man. So, so uh, can people, can, people can find me uh, at uh, Marvel Bishop. Uh, on Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Threads, Twitter, I uh, my youth my YouTube channel is uh, Marvel Bishop TV. If you guys want to email me as well too, Marvel at MarvelBishop.com. If you want to experience only the best experience and curate the vibes when it comes to Miami, please hit me up. I got you. All right, man. All right. I I'm one just leaving, man. This is Marvel Bishop. We finna check out on the podcast summit, man. Yes, sir. You down. When I fall off it, be a while I'll pull you down. When I fall off it, be a while I'll pull you down. 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 Pull you down.